we are back so over the weekend we had a nice little retest here of that previous support at sixty thousand dollars and we had of course a beautiful bounce back up you can see that we closed two of the days here with hammer candles which are bullish candles by the way and on the weekly we closed with a doji candle so today we're currently sitting at around $63,000 with a high of $63,790. So now in today's video, we are going to, of course, do a recap of the trade entries that we gave you guys on Friday's video. I hope you guys took that $60,000 entry. And then we will jump into an analysis to see where we can possibly expect Bitcoin to be going this week. And then, of course, we're going to look for some trade setups to make some profits for you guys this week. Let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community, with the knowledge and resources to get your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you guys enjoy this video, smash that like button. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Let's dive into today's video. So of course, first we're going to talk about the trade recaps from Friday's trade setups that we gave you guys the first one that triggered here was of course this 60k bounce entry here remember we spoke about the 60k level we told you guys that was one of the main supports here as we we tested this bottom down here and that's exactly where we got the bounce and you can see if you guys entered this trade that was about a 6.2 percent bounce back up using 10x leverage you would have done around 62 percent profit on this trade congrats if you were able to take that trade if instead you guys used the sixty-two thousand dollar entry that one was about 2.76 percent so again if you're using 10x leverage that move would have get, got you about around 27 percent profit another profitable trade guys Congrats if you're able to take any of these two trades and make some profits with them. Alrighty, guys. So, as you guys know, we closed the weekly candle basically a doji. A doji basically is when the market is indecisive on you know what it wants to do, basically, right? So, mostly what it means, it almost opened and closed at the same price. So you'll see that the open here was at 61,574, the close was at 60,900. 26. Now, the good thing about this candle here, this is officially the highest closing candle that we've ever had in Bitcoin. Okay, so the previous highest closing candle you guys can see way back in April was at $60,016. So it just barely closed above 60k. This candle here closed at 60,926. So very bullish candle here. Price action is bullish. We had a retest, of course, of the previous resistance switched to support, which was $60,000. Again, it was a very bullish uh, bounce here. And now we could potentially see the prices continue on its rise back up remember on last week monday's video we spoke about the potential of a drop here because the market was overbought it was overextended right we needed some sort of pullback before we can continue higher and that's exactly what we ended up getting so we told you guys that on the 18th, we did get two more very, very bullish days here. And then finally on the 21st, we got a big red candle and started heading down. You guys can see here since that we were in overbought overextension for a little bit there. And now we are back neutral, right? So we, we could potentially continue up higher now. 
So of course, on the way back up, we have a few resistances here. The first one is of course 65K, which was a previous resistance. So that's gonna be the first level that we will be watching as we grind our way back up. And then the next one after that will be that $67,000 area, which, which is where we set our new all time high. If for any reason we pull back or consolidate or anything like that, I, I would expect that the range of consolidation being, you know, it could be somewhere between 60 to $65,000. We could potentially also range in range like this where we're kind of descending here. And again, even though that's not ideal for the moment, like for, for you to see the prices go to the bottom of, the, of this uh, range here, it is still a bullish pattern. This is a bull flag. Bull flags are known to consolidate and range, you know, in patterns like this. So something like this could take us down to the bottom of this range, which could potentially be around that $58,000 area that a lot of people have been uh, speaking about. Now, doesn't mean that's what's gonna happen, but that's just another scenario that could possibly occur. Now, something interesting that we have been watching here is a fractal from 2017, as you guys can see here, compared to where we currently are sitting right now in 2021. So dating all the way back to July, you can see that we had a bounce here the same way we had a bounce here. Then we had a run up. We had this similar run up there and another bounce in September after a basically run down. And again, we had a move down in September, bounce in September. Not the exact dates, but very, very close. Then we had the move up, broke through this previous resistance here and set up a new high. At this time, this was a new all time high, the same way that we just broke this previous resistance and set up some new all time highs here. Now we just had our retrace here, which we also had a similar retrace back in 2017, around the same time, almost the same date, October 20th versus October 21st. And that retracement was back down to that Fibonacci level, the two, the 0.236. So what happened next in 2017? Well, we took off. Prices took off. We went, set up new all time highs over 11,000, right? So, if we continue with the same exact pattern that we saw back in 2017, then we could be expecting possibly something like this, where we could potentially test $80,000. Then, at that point, you saw that there was a pullback here. So, we could potentially get another pullback back to this same Fibonacci area. So, that would basically be something like that where we would drop back down here. I would imagine that would be towards around the end of November and then continuation higher, you know, potentially a hundred thousand dollars here. Right. And that could be like around how we, that, that could be like how we end the year sometime in December. Like the saying goes, history doesn't always repeat, but it does often rhyme. So that is something that we will be watching very closely. And of course, we will be relaying this information directly to you fabulous people. All right, next, we're going to jump into some trade setups that we will be watching this week. If you guys missed the ones from Friday, if you guys missed the ones from last Monday, do not worry. We got you covered with some new trade setups for this week. However, before we do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are not subscribed yet. More than 70% of you who are currently watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. So now that that's covered, let's go ahead and dive into the trade setups that we will be watching this week. Alrighty guys, so the trade setups that we're watching this week on a pullback, the first thing that we're watching is a $62,000 level and of course the $60,000 level. Those would be two possible bounce back entry opportunities there to try to buy in. Remember that we're not buying when prices are going down We're buying when prices bounce back up. That is the magic to it. That is the trick to it. 
If we do not get a pullback that goes as far as 62 or 60,000, then what we do is we play, we look for breakouts. So the breakout that we would be watching for here this week is of course above 65,000, because if we break back above 65, we could, we will probably be testing the previous all time high. So that leads us to our next breakout entry, which of course would be above this previous all time high. Remember when we set up new all time highs, a lot of volume usually comes in, which means there's a lot of volatility, which means there's potential to make a lot of money. So those are the trade setups that we will be watching this week. So we covered the trade recap from the weekend. We did the analysis on Bitcoin where it currently is standing and where it could potentially go from here. And of course, we gave you guys some trade setups that hopefully we can all make some profits using. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, especially if you tune in till the end. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you know every day when we post. And if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.